it feels like this has come straight off the back of all the Joe Rogan stuff. It looks like Dandy Newton, um, for whatever reason, decided to get in front of a webcam and start crying that she's light skinned. Um, hilarious video. Really, really does epitomize the, you know, the lack of self awareness that exists in the higher echelons of Hollywood or entertainment industry or in general or in life, probably. Maybe if you just ask, maybe if you just get to a certain level of life, you just, you know, your head is literally in the clouds and you can't you can't basically see where you're meant to be standing but i don't know it's a ridiculous video ridiculous clip this is dandy newton crying about being light-skinned and i'm really not joking i've wanted so desperately to apologize every day to to, to darker skinned actresses <laughs> i wanted so desperately to apologize to all the nignogs out there i'm sorry for taking your jobs and your men <laughs> like what oh god almighty daddy auntie what are you doing man allow it turn off the webcam i don't know man buy a book do some pilates or something like what is this this is not the vibe this is not the vibe auntie it's to say i'm sorry that i'm joked. i'm the one chosen my mama looks like you <laughs> my mama is a ducky like you my mama <laughs> My mama also likes that odo 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 wele 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 music. <laughs> oh, this is maybe this is maybe the explanation for this as well because I, I think if I'm not mistaken, I saw some supercut. I saw like yeah, a longer version of this. I think it was part of some TV show or something. Like you know, being black in Hollywood representation. I don't know some garbage TV, right? Um, some equal opportunities. Let's tick a box TV show type show. But maybe this is kind of more so in um, a, re a reflection of her current mind state. Maybe she's going through that thing that a lot of female actresses go through where no matter how beautiful you are, unfortunately, the older you get, the roles start to dry up. It's annoying, but it happens to be that way. I think the only recent thing that I think, can think of that kind of bucked that trend was the mayor of east town i forgot the lady who stars in it i think it's kate winslet is it kate winslet it should be kate winslet that's the titanic woman right yes yeah, kate winslet so mayor of east town might be the only thing i've seen recently where an older actress lady um has the ability to basically be the leading role in a series and without it trying to make her look like she's 25 like they actually cast her as somewhat similar to what her real age is um but unfortunately in hollywood for every reason despite all the posturing they do about exclusivity diversity and wanting to be woke and what not me too representation for every reason if you're a female like you have a real real short shelf life like it might be maybe late 40 it might be even early 40s maybe not even late early 40s and suddenly people start to cycle you out and get other people in so maybe she's kind of hitting that wall where suddenly the roles are not you know coming thick and fast pause um people are not calling back as quick as they were maybe in the past and now in instead of just maybe realizing that that's a reality situation she's kind of trying to grasp at straws and maybe think oh no maybe now the reality of what she or what her skin of, yeah of her skin color is actually coming to 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 the front yeah to the to the front maybe she might be what she might be one of those people that are like oh my skin color doesn't matter in the jobs that i get i just get what i, you know what I mean the, those kind of people and then suddenly she was kind of awoken to the fact that nah it did play a part before when you were younger you were the cute young mixed race lady now you're older people just look at you as a black lady and you know if there's limited roles for older white ladies imagine how limited the roles are going to be for older black ladies it's just not going to happen so maybe that's just what it is but it's hilarious man it's hilarious to see actors there's nothing worse than seeing people crying on the camera that they turned on themselves because you could just turn it off you don't need to keep crying it's not like someone's recording you you know outside of flipping them um, out, yeah in the real world outside like you can't go away from them and even then you can just slap the camera out of their hand this is your own camera and you can upload this yourself like or you can you can tell someone to cut the stream it's not hard but they still continue to leave it on it's just ridiculous my mom looks like you <laughs> and she who's she talking to bruv it's been very painful to have women that look like my mum. Feel like I'm not representing them. And also, 
I don't care about this sort of stuff because again, I'm not a female and I'm not an actor and I don't care about this sort of stuff. But if I did care about this sort of this, this kind of stuff, I would be a little bit annoyed that she's only speaking up now. Why did you ignore us this whole time? Why do you ignore the nignogs out there? Why did you try and pretend like it didn't matter what your skin color was or you know what you'd look like or what you're representing or the fact that maybe you'd you know what's that phrase they use in work culture um white passing right they say right so sometimes they say oh if you're mixed race but you're of fairer complexion or you've got more european features they they would tell you that it may be easier for you to get some roles who knows it could be some truth in it i don't know again i'm not part of that whole scene but or that industry but if that is the case I would want you to speak up about this sooner. I don't want you to now to have suddenly, uh, what's, what's that word called? Um, a, a moral awakening now suddenly because your own roles have dried up. Because again, don't think this is charity. This is not her doing something out of the goodness of her heart. This is definitely um, grounded in the fact that her phone calls have stopped coming in as fast as they were before. And now in an effort to try to reposition or repivot her. So she's now trying to become what? The flipping colorist activist or something. It's like, come on, mate, do me a favor. That I'm taking from them, taking their men, <laughs> taking their work, <laughs> taking their truth. Taking them, oh, no, I don't know, taking them men. I didn't mean to, you know. Taking their men. What what does Dandy Newton's husband even look like? This is this is a mad one. What's her husband? Is she got a husband? What's what's he look like? Taking their men. Ollie Parker. Old Parker. Oi Parker. Is that Ollie Parker? Eh? I don't know, man. These people are insane. I don't know. Let's just move on, man. Big up Dandy Newton. Auntie's auntie's on a mad one. I don't know what she's doing, man. She's freaking out. She's bugging out right now. 